guys, look at you here. And today we'll be making squeezable ramen noodles. So let's get to it. So in order to make squeezable ramen noodles, we need a broth, right? I'm going to make a super easy show you ramen broth. So all you need is some green onion. <laughs> it's not working. Grate some ginger. And some garlic. All right, now let's head to the noodle making station. Ooh. All you need for this is the eggs and one fourth cup of flour. Pretend that didn't happen, okay? I'm a pro egg cracker. And now put your flour. Oh. Might take a while. So my ramen batter is done, but it actually looks similar to a pancake consistency, and it looks sort of like pancake batter. All right, now we gotta grab a tall glass of nothing <laughs> and grab a cheap Ziploc bag, put it in like so, okay? Okay. Just pour it in. Now, let's head to the stove. It's time for Look At You Shout Out of the Week. This week's shout out goes to Sony the Hedgehog. Thank you, Sony, for always supporting the channel, always liking my videos, and leaving nice comments down below. I really appreciate it. And if you, you want a shout out, all you have to do is hit that notification bell, like my videos, and comment nice things down below, but don't ask for a shout out. All right, so all you need to do is cut it open and we're gonna swirl it around and make little noodles, okay? So, ooh. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's actually pretty good. Uh-oh, 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 oh no. Okay, first batch done. You don't want to overcrowd the pot, so once all the noodles start floating, you have to take it. Okay, seems like it's done. Okay, and voila, you have freshly made ramen noodles. And you should put it under cold water so it doesn't overcook, and I'm gonna do it right now. All right, so to the broth, we're first gonna add butter, one tusp, ginger, and garlic. Okay, now we're gonna add one tusp, tusp <laughs> of, of Japanese soy sauce, or a regular soy sauce if you don't have Japanese. Add one tusp of chicken, Bouillon. And I know what you're thinking. Look at you never measures her ingredients. Why is she measuring right now? Well, because I don't want to mess this up. Okay, just stir it a bit. 300 ml of water. Yes, okay. And that's it. Just let it boil for a bit. My soup is nice and hot. That was my dog. <laughs> and let's head to the assembly line unit thing. Ooh. First off, we got a soft boiled egg. And I wanna try a trick. I've never tried it before. Apparently, you peel the egg on both top and bottom and then just blow it out. I don't know if it'll work. What the hell? I can't blow it out. Okay, we're just gonna do it the old fashioned way. Now it's time to assemble and we will first cut the egg. 
Oh wait, no, we should cut the egg last or else it'll drip out. Okay, so let's put the noodles. Look how nice it turned out. It turned out pretty nice. So these are the noodles. Nice, nice. I think the first batch is a bit soggier. <laughs> so we're gonna put that at the bottom because that's the ugly one. Now, all you gotta do is pour the broth in. Oh, it's perfect. Good job. <gasps> Ooh, I did a good job. Look at that. Put it like this. I don't know, I'm not a ramen decorator person. Like this. I think that looks pretty good. Beautiful green onions. And now, the finishing touch. Seaweed. Like this, I think. Now, oh. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I can't breathe too hard on this. Okay, now let's head to the taste test. Wow. This is the finished product, and let's begin the taste test. Ooh, I'm very excited. Bon appetit. Mmm! That's really good. I don't know why I paused. Mmm! <laughs> mmm! The broth is really good too. It's nice and light, cause I wanted to make the noodles the star of the show, right? So you don't want something too rich and like creamy to overpower these delicious noodles. Mmm. It was good. The broth is really good too. Tastes similar to the ramen shop. So I think this is a success. These are obviously not your typical, really super chewy ramen noodles. These are more cooked. <laughs> so if you want them chewy, I don't think you would really want to try this recipe out because this is a bit more soggy. If you want to just experiment at home and try this out, I think this is a fun way to do it. It tastes similar to instant noodles. Like if you left the instant noodles a bit longer in the uh, water, in the broth, it, it tastes similar to that. This tastes pretty dang similar to instant noodles. Mm. Honestly, the fact that I made these noodles in like five minutes is pretty uh, surprising. Like if you don't have noodles at home, but you have eggs and flour, which I'm sure you do, then you should try this out for fun. Mm. So this gets Look at Chew's double stamp of approval. Push, push. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>